and welcome to the Midnight Ride. It is Saturday, and that means it is Super Throwback Saturday. And your host, out of Knockers, will be playing Shinobi Legion. So sit back, relax, get a little snack, something to drink, and let's all enjoy God of Knockers and his play. Okay, knockers, take it away! Greetings and salutations, everyone. Tis I, your host, God of Knockers. Welcome to Super Throwback Saturday on the Midnight Ride, yes. At the end of the stream, there will be a very important announcement. And I know it's April Fool's Day for the rest of you guys, but this is an actual announcement. It's not a joke. No. I already did the joke on the Twitter earlier, and now that joke's passed. But something I have to tell you. It's not like... It's dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so we are going to continue with Shinobi Legions, or as they call it uh, in Japan, whatever they call it in Japan, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. You know I suck at this. Uh, yeah, that's right, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to the business. That is not the business. If Kobe was here, he'd say, racist! That's right, but he's not. It's like we used to be bad bitches, and now no way. Where is all my stuff? I think I ha Where's the overlay? Oh god. Okay, now I need the cam. Oh god, camera ho! Activate. There it is. Hi. Okay. And I need this. Ah, no! That is not what we need. It's such this one, is it? Alright, I'm touching it, I'm touching it. Touching it. Right? Hey, Des is here. Hello, Des. Hey, Des. What is this? It is Ching Chong <laughs> That's right. Uh, wait, so I think I had the overlay off. I can't tell anymore. Was the overlay on or off when I did this? It says Jarell is here too, but that might have been from last night. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm just gonna do this and turn off. Joey's here. Welcome, Welcome to the midnight ride, midnight ride, Joey. Hey, Joey. I'm just gonna turn that off and just. Do well, this. see, by having your announcement at the end of the stream, it is no longer April Fool's Day. It's April second. That's right. That's why I did it. And my grandfather, if he too was alive, would have been to him today, a hundred and fifteen. That's awesome. 1902. My mom's daddy. <laughs> this is, so what's the announcement? You're you're not pregnant? Or are you not? Are, are you pregnant knockers? Or are you? No. As it turns out, men don't get pregnant. Oh crap, I just... <laughs> Joey says, it's okay, Annie. Not go the full year round. What's going kind of... Oh shit! No! No! Oh god, why is audio acting up now? Of all the things... I don't know what it is, but I think your your nostril breath is being picked up by the thing. <laughs> oh my god, you are so embarrassing! I don't know. I don't know what it is. So Joey says not those had many butt buddies, uh, butt babies though. Have I? This is true. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I, I worry about my own hot nostril breath. Well, thanks so much. I don't mean to be a twoosh. No, just a half-ass one. <laughs> a half-asser? No, no! You're not killing me. Oh, 
Oh God. No, no. No! I don't have to start that over, do I? Oh, okay. I could just continue. Alright. Oh god. No. Let me dunk you in the brains. Oh god, fuck it. Fuck it, just run. Run, Shinobi, run. Oh, thank Christ I made it. Oh no, this bitch. No, look at you with your high yaws. I'm not starting this thing over again, no. Son of a bitch. Leroy, help. Doink. Try and make it. Hello? Is there is everyone here? Yeah. Who else? You and me. Alright. I just want to make sure. Hi. Nostril breath. Yeah, that that actually was one of the bigger concerns that I had when I first started streaming because I knew that. Yes. I understand. I understand. Now you can have all of my, um, sounds. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I've put my foot in it, folks. You can crack a rock with your head. That's fantastic, sir. No. Why don't we start a stream? Annie, I think your nostril breath is being picked up in the mic too strongly. Oh god. Have I forever doomed myself never to get ass again? Oh, the sword guy. This is starting my training tomorrow. Can't wait until my forklift is tilted sideways. <laughs> no, you can do it. And at that time, you can say it's not your fault. <laughs> I don't think that would work. Sure, it would. Everyone knows it's your fault for everything. No, it's not. I should just accept this. The bitch hat energy. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. All right, I must take my time. No! 
but the thing, it touched him. The, 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 oi, and the, 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 I don't know. I'm touching all the bitches. I'm touching, I'm touching it. Of course you are. It had to be done. God, please tell me yes. Fighting chance. Shuriken's all in your face. I demand it. Oh, tits. Don't you dare hit me with your stick of ass. <laughs> yes, we got some power. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna pause it here. Wow, damn, Tess. <laughs> Safety. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you were expecting that, were you? These are hysterical. By the way, there's a tweet out for you to look at, Knockers. I think you should pause. Okay. I think that it would be on here. I see. Read it for everyone. Okay. So we're right at that side. Right. Knockers is a lady. Playboy man is a lady. Pass it on. He, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Gotcha. Oh my god. Gotcha, <laughs> Hazel breath. Yeah, yeah, I know. Back to Shinobi <laughs> That's right. You weren't expecting it, were you? Oh shit. I have to find a better way to approach you. <laughs> Where do you find these devs? This is amazing. You're gonna have to watch this after the stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, I will find you. Yeah, you can't handle it, can you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll watch the rest of it afterwards with you, so I'm not too Yeah, we know. You can bust rocks over your head. You know who else would bust rocks over their head? Johnny Knoxville. How he survived, I'll never know. Or am I thinking of that other guy? I could be thinking of that other guy. What other guy? Oh no, that was that show, Guinness Book of World Records thingy. A couple of years ago, there was this dude who said that he could run through eight solid panes of bulletproof glass, wearing just a helmet and elbow pads. 
the first one damn near killed him. It was like, here he goes to glass one. He bounced. You heard him bounce. And then... He was just kind of still for a little bit. The power of Sybil. Whatever this dude's name is. No. No, my powers. No. What do you keep that fire at, man? I mean, what do you eat? It was 1995. I don't think the ghost pepper was invented just yet. Careful. Be all oh, man. <laughs> Come on, motherfucker. Oh, Christ. No, he jumped in my ass. He jumped on my ass. Okay. Dude's gonna have a metal plate in his head. No, don't get hit too many times. Play cool. Play fast and loose. Be sexy. Yes, yes, do it. Do it, you wild bitch. Get him. No, no. No, the power. The power's gone. And he kicked me right in the dick. He likes it too much. It's one of those things that just turn people on. Seriously, where are you getting them flames from, man? What? Does he have like a like a full stomach full of lighter fluid or something? Oh god. Powers. Powers. Get him. Get it. Mmm, careful. Yes. It's dead heat. It's a fair comp. Oh, fuck. Almost hit the fucker. Balls. It's okay, folks.
Sabon, or whatever his name is, he'll guide me. Come on, get this bitch. Get this bitch. I want him dead, gentlemen. No! It was even closer! God damn! Nye! 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 What the hell am I doing? I don't know. You don't think I'll get you, do you? I'll get you, baby. I'm gonna get that ass. That ass is mine. It'll be like that. It'll be like the bad guys who think they've won the universe. Yeah, fuck your lanterns. No, the powers. I fucked that up completely. I fucked it all up. I fucked it up. For the makers of I fucked up comes I fucked up. No, no, you fool. Oh no! Ah! Ah! Emulators! Why? No, fuck off, Leroy. We don't need your Jenkins. I done fucked it. I fucked it. I don't know how much more I have left to go in this, but if I can finish this game, there is a, a retro-esque game I'd like to introduce you guys to. I, I think you might like it. No, the powers are small. Can I can I like dick tap his head or something? Can I, can I give him just the tip, like the sword tip? Oh my god! Probably can't. Oh god, I lost the powers. Okay. Oh my god. No! The power's just sit on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you like this. No! I'm so close to getting this guy. I'm so close. Wait a minute. Let me drink something here. Tea. Mm -mm. 
No, my powers, the power system on. Mm. It's like a mesh of all different of, of all different bosses just put together. Or Sibon or Absolute or whatever the fuck Shinobi be saying. Um, Dev says give him just the tip, Knockers 2017. Well, yeah, just the sword. You son of a bitch. No, no. No. Oh my god. Well, I want to call it the sword dick tap. But technically a sword does not is not a technically a dick. Although it could be considered one by phallic design, I don't know. I also am stuck between calling it the, the tip tap or the dick touch. So there's a lot of options I got here. And he blows fire on my face. You son of a bitch, you flipped it! Don't you dare give me the business, sir. Scheme, do you? you skank bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, comma, shit, dick nipples. Okay. Really? I was really close then. It was like we were down to one to one. Shinobi. Oh, you, you, you smants, you fuck. Okay. It's all right.
Oh shit. Oh my god. The jumping in this game is annoying as balls. Cause you know you're timing it right, but it never registers. And when it does, it's a fucking miracle. I double jumped. I'm timing the bitch. Oh my god. And now, and now, and now. And then he goes into his little mode of, I'm going to flail around and kick your ass. It's going to be great. Hiya, hiya. Look at how high I can kick. I can smash rocks. I can move a car with just my penis. Really not. Have you seen those videos? They ain't natural. There's a dude that can actually, there are several people who can do that. And it's just fucking disgusting. That is not how the penis is meant to be utilized in any way, shape, or form. Can't tell me otherwise. I can't even figure out the thought process on that. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna break a record and put it myself in Guinness, huh? I'm gonna move a car with my dick. Tie it Welcome to a toe. To ride, uh, Brittany. Yes, he's very salty at the moment. You woke in in the middle of salt. Yeah. It's still not natural. Just don't do that with your wang. Really you want, not. If you want to impress people with how well you're physically endowed, do a porno or something, or, or you know, just be really good in bed. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've read the Kama Sutra. I got skills. I'm not in the. I'm not even in the union. Shit, you know, you know, you know, the things with the kicking, kicking, fucking. Oh my god. This thing is the so kicking stupid. fuckers! Yeah, that's right, the kicking fuckers. Tried to give him the sword touch. Okay, just like before. Fuck your lanterns. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you didn't think I was expecting that, did you? Touch. No, no, don't roll. Where the fuck did you learn how to roll? This game's punking me. Touch him, touch him. Ha uh ha. -huh. You didn't think I was expecting it, did you? Did you? Got your idea now, motherfucker. Touch. 
The power of Simon will not be denied. You asshole! You punked me! Okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's a process. You know, I was going to say he wanted to stick his own dick up a car's exhaust pipe, Kappa? Where did you get that? Mike and Fan is here. He says, Ola. Hello, Mike and Fan. Hello. Welcome to the Midnight Ride. Welcome to the Midnight Ride. Oh my god. I hit him at the same time. Okay. Welcome to Super Throwback Saturday. We play the retros. Currently playing Shinobi Legions on the Sega Saturn. The emulator is uh, one called Ya. Hold on, Ya Ya Yabusi something. I don't know. It's the only one that works and doesn't suck. That's yeah. Knockers Kabusi. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well say that. Touched me with the, he touched me. He hit my dick with that thing. You son of a bitch. I don't want to see you kicking around and you flailing your legs. Ghosting. Stairs and jump. Oh god, the powers of Sibyl are gone. <laughs> Mike says, I'll be sure to download whatever. <laughs> yeah. I should like have a small list of emulators that I use programmed into the bot. Stupid. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, I feel so good. Okay. God, how did they? What the fuck? He blew fire on me and totally missed. No. Oh God, the powers. You know, I'm taking my time with you. I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing. I am just... The registers for the jumps are ass. Um... Yeah. But I think you kind of knew that, didn't you? Tough luck, skank. No, oh, the powers. I'm starting to think I should just move. I should just say fuck this and just move on to something else, but I'm not going to do that just yet. 
Mike says the Se Sega Saturn was always super weird for me. I was always extremely interested in the hardware, but I've never actually seen or played any of its games until now. Yeah. Well, the problem there were a lot of technical issues with the Sega Saturn because it was supposed to be something else and it wasn't. There's a whole story behind it, and quite frankly, I just. I to tell it. But despite its quirks and its ups and downs, there were some pretty good games. The mo the one that everyone loves, of course, there are two that everyone loves. Uh, Panzer Dragoon and Knights into Dreams. There was also Virtua Cop 2, which, yes, that was fun. And I've played the arcade version of that. It's better with the light gun. Yes, you can use controller, but it's just, it's not the same. And then you can't use light guns because they don't work on flat panel televisions, which sucks balls. Unless you're a genius and can make some kind of weird contraption, or, you know, they actually just have light guns that will allow you to do that, which, it's like, last check, they don't. It'd be so sweet, though. I should look into that. What would Virtual Cop be like in an emulator? Oh shit. Fuck a duck. Fuck a ducky duck. Alright. Uh, Des says Knights was a great game, and Brittany says, Where do you think I got my username from? LOL. Ah. I always wondered. Now I know. And now you know. Ow. I still have the I have the powers. And he kills me. Oh yes, that's right, because that hit register just had to, to be a thing. to do something, didn't you? Didn't you? No. No. You asshole! Your little kicks. Oh, look at me. I can kick like a bastard. I can put rocks on my forehead. truth. You have no genitals. It's okay. That means I have more genitals than you will ever possess in your entire life. Oh, shit!
Oh man. I'm getting so close to killing this bitch. No, 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 I'm sorry. I need the powers. I'm gonna get you, man. I'm gonna fuck you up. And it's gonna be awesome and it will be glorious. Powers. You, 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 oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you like pissing me off, don't you? You just like it. Mm hmm. You double bastard! He's getting punky. He's becoming a punky bitch. Son of a bitch. You don't think I can... What? You think I'm afraid of you? You cannot handle this ass, sir. It's too wild. And whore. Oh boy. You know, you know, you know, I'm gonna kick your ass. You're just waving around with your little legs. And the statues, you don't think I know? Oh, I know what this is. This is a man who has a tiny penis. He's overcompensating for everything. True, sweetie, it's true. You know, you've been through that situation. <coughs> hey, Shelia, good evening. Hey, Shelly, baby. Welcome to Super Throwback Saturday with Shinobi. Yeah, man, how you doing? And does it, that's racist. Or is it? But is it not true that the overcompensation does happen with men with a micro wangus? We have an expert, Annie. What do you say? Is it true? About what? About people with micro peni uh, no. <laughs> overcompensate? Yes. You see? You see? The science, it's there, people. It's there. Your, your little kicks. You, Dolph Lundgren, you are not. You know, you know. He ain't that great. You ain't that great. He's strutting around on this stuff. You don't think I know what you're doing, sir? There's a reason why. 
Um, Shelly says he's doing good. Just got back from Ghost in the Shell. And Des says, so, Annie's an expert with small dicks, Kappa? Don't worry. She's not ta- I'm not talking about me. And Shelly, please tell me, how was the movie? Have you seen the original from the 1990s? Is it, is it good? For the love of God, I beg of you. Tell me, how was it? I must know. Calm down, doctors. Calm down. I am a huge fan of, the, of Ghost in the Shell. Huge. I once had a giant archive of wallpaper. Unfortunately, I, I don't know where it went. I think I may have destroyed it. But that's what I get for labeling my archives as numbers. I'm thinking, hey, I remember the numbers. Yeah, 997-6481. That's how I labeled my archives. Then I lost a piece of paper to the archives. And then, like a moron, I deleted the archives. Hold on a second. Um, I've not seen any of the source material, but as far as I'm concerned, it was a great movie. Yes! I'm glad to hear that. (laughs) Now you'll be able to sleep tonight, right? I will. I was worried about it. Because, you know, you hear about all these remasters and remakes and redos, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And sometimes they're good, and sometimes they're... Most of the time, they're not. And, you know, goes in the Shell, that's my, that's my shit. That was my very first uh, anime movie that I saw. So it has some, some meaning to me, you know? The reason why I, I've watched Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, all the other animated movies, which I have, the original and the remade one that they made later of the original Ghost in the Shell movie. It's the reason why I'm playing First Assault. <laughs> I even named my Tachikoma Annie. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I love it that much. Oh, mother of fuck, I almost had him. I'm getting so close. No, no, I guess I'm old-fashioned anime like that, but when you love something, you love it. Oh, God, he's tripping on my powers already. I wonder if there's a way like, I can do it, like a... Ow, ow, ow. I can do some kind of like a, a dick tap with the sword. I don't know. shit. No! No! I've lost the sword powers. Oh. I 
I don't know if I should switch to the other game or not. But at the same time, I'm so close. Well, that was kind of childish. I don't know how you did that move, show, but don't do it again. the camp hmm you can bounce on his head interesting but you can only do it for so long okay because I was thinking I could probably just bounce, bounce, bounce. And it would just be like, okay, he's dead. But there are no shortcuts with this boss. Let's destroy your flamies. Fast one on me, did you? Oh, okay. No, I, I jumped. God damn the registry on this. And I'm pushing the fucking Jesus out of my button here. Push the button. I'm pushing the fucking button. Fuck! Fuck! You fucker! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one last time. Because, oh god. He says the Takakama... Kama? What is it? Uh, Tachikoma. Tachikoma. That's the spider t tank, right? Yes. And I love that thing. There was a spider thing. tank near the end, but they did not call it a Takimakama or whatever. Tachi Koma is okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. That's awesome. At least it's in the at least it's in the movie. So, so that, that spider you like? Well, it doesn't look like a spider, really. That's the thing. And it's an adorable little battle tank. I'm on the battlefield. Uh, what should I do? I can't do the voice, but I just love it. This is just, it's the cutest fucking thing. It really is. And in the, in First Assault, when it gets a bad guy, or when we captures, um, like a, a terminal in Terminal Conquest, it goes, woohoo! We captured a terminal! It's so fucking adorable! <laughs> Uh, Brittany says, guess who had the kids in bed? Wow, Ooh. so they're all asleep. 
Shelley says, yeah, this wasn't cute. It was kind of huge. and didn't have an owl or a voice. A-L or a voice. Okay. Did it look like it at least? As long as it looked like it, I'm okay with it. Mother of fuck. I'm, he's just one hit away. Oh my god. I am so close. I want to say fuck it and move on to the other game, but it's time. I, I want to get this guy down. Ah, oh, I dodged that fucking jump. Come on, man. This game is trolling me. It's trolling me so hard. I'm not even going to continue with that. I'm just going to start it over. And then there. You know, I remember being this bitch way back when I got this game. And rented it and shit. I don't know if I own it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. It's your little flame. I don't... I don't... I want... I want... Um, okay. This will be the very, very, very last time. And then after that, I'm just gonna not deal with it. I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to the other game. Now, so there is no confusion and no upset. The game that I want to show you guys that we're going to play, no matter what happens here, is Retro-esque. It was made only um, a few years ago, but it has a very nice retro style and feel, and it pays homage to it. I know you guys might actually like it. It'll be the very first time I've played it, too. I do not know how I dodged that, but I'm really glad I dodged it. I can give it another shot. I keep saying it's my last one, but I'm close. I'm so fucking close. Right fucking there. Don't keep on saying last one. Just do it, man. Do it. Yes. We'll get you. We'll get you. Shit, damn it. I, I hit him right up to that point where he starts kicking around like an asshole. What an arrogant dipshit. Oh, I, did I just lose the powers? I lost the powers. And I died. I died like a little ass. Okay. Zen.
No, why didn't you roll? What is that shit? Shelly's is not as round, but I recognized it as what it was supposed to be. And Brittany says, so Sophia just started eating cereal yesterday. I have never seen a baby so excited to have food. LOL. Uh -huh. Like she was pretty much jumping at the spoon. <laughs> uh -huh. Aww. That's adorable. I'm glad she liked her first solid food. That's great to hear. has to be the one. I've already been through so much shit with fighting bosses and not getting them killed. No, register. Don't start doing that shit when you don't register my hits. Register. I'm hitting this button like a motherfucker. You're goddamn right I'm hitting it. It's so fucking random when he gets more damaged. He gets so fucking random, I can't stand it. Officially done. <laughs> it's it's totally done. I've stopped it. We're done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hang on. Let me hide some stuff because this game is in full screen. I can't do anything about that. Okay, so let's minimize this. Uh, hang on. Wait. Let me get this going. Uh, I need to turn off the game capture and turn on display. No, display will not work. There it is. Okay. There we are. Alright. It oh wait, I just realized that you might see some stuff. Um What your porn tabs? I don't have porn tabs. I have a folder. There's a difference. Ah. Uh here it is. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, don't do that just yet. Let me, let me take care of the security screen. <laughs> ow, ow. Yes, yeah, that's good porn. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay, sorry about that. Any, you still there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Apologies, folks. I didn't mean to blow out your eardrums. Sure you did. Here it is. Can you guys see it? 
Mm, not yet. I can't yet. Okay. Everybody else will. So. Alright. I see it now. Okay, folks. Now, the name of this game is called Infested. It was inspired oh. by Kim Koseka. The people, I'm sure you know, who made Deja Vu, um, Shadowgate, Uninvited, those really fun games. And uh, Icom Simulation Inc., yeah. And uh, from what I understand, you're on a spaceship, something has happened to the crew, and you gotta figure out what the hell's going on. So, we're gonna get started. It's a point and click. So let's, let's go. New game, please. The last thing that you remember is standing before a commander like Mir- Ah! As he waved his hand for you to return to your office to get some much needed rest. Lackmere, of course, being the name of the wizard in the Shadowgate uh, game. Yeah. Now you have just emerged from the stasis pod in the cold sweat with vague memories of screams followed by abrupt silence. Oh, well, that ain't good. It felt too real to be a dream. You continue to hear silence throughout the ship. That's creeping me out. I have the goosebumps already. I feel a deep sickness inside, I say to myself. You assume the worst as you attempt to regain your composure. Okay. Oh! Oh! Yeah! That didn't work. Oh, well, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, move here. The door has been locked by the ship's emergency systems. You have to enter the code on the nearby keypad to unlock it. I don't know the code. Looks like it's time to examine shit. This is the stasis pod you were in when you were suddenly awakened. You were put in stasis when you started showing signs of a strange infection. Uh oh. This is the security pad for the door lock. What about this? This is one of the ship's terminals. Anyone with at least low level clearance can use it. Alright, use... Oh, you log in using your ID and password. It works and the terminal's hollow screen powers on. Oh, there's the code, right? 327. So... Oh! 27. The code works! The door is now unlocked and can be opened. Time to find out what has happened to the ship. Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh my god, this is great! It feels like it actually... Okay, you begin to gather your thoughts. You are on an away mission to a nearby planet when you feel ill in the foreign environment. At first it seemed like nothing more than poor acclimatization, but something wasn't right. Could it be? Did something come back with us onto the ship, you think to yourself? You realize that you must find out, and the attempts to radio a medic seem to be in vain. Looks like I have to take care of myself, you think. Alright. Well, let's see here. The med bay is this way. You remember that the medical staff were working overtime to treat many members of the crew who had succumbed to a strange infection. You were shown early signs of the infection when you went into stasis. Oh oh, well that can't be good. I like this. You have a bad infection, you should find a way to treat it soon. Well that don't sound good. Discharge just the anatomy of the human body. Oh wait, 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 wait. What's this thing? A medical syringe. It appears to be empty. Medical supplies. There may be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this bag. You pick up the medical supply bag. And you open the bag. Okay. Ooh. Okay, nice. You take the antibiotic. Stethoscope. I don't know what Cam A does. You take the gauze. Right click the clothes? Kick fucking ass! That's awesome! Wow! A dose of advanced antibiotics are used to treat infections. Well, yes, please. What do you want to use this on? Myself. You swallow the antibiotic and it begins to work instantly. You feel much better. Alright! Okay, job one done. I think I should take some stuff. I'm gonna take this empty syringe. Yeah. Then I move back. And what's this? There's a small pool of slime gathering beneath the dripping pipe. 
Ew. Oh, that's nice. There is a cover blocking access to the vent shaft. The maintenance crew has left it unfastened. Okay, open. The cover easily comes off the vent shaft. You place it on the ground. Let's go in. Nice. Ooh! Ooh! What is that? Oh god, that's like a penis tip! Ew! With dick cheese! This plant has grown and mutated into a mean looking creature. I ain't going near that. Uh. It looks like a giant penis tip, my god! There is a loose grate covering the waste chute. You can faintly see something inside. Okay, open. Ooh, you lift off the grate without much difficulty and discard it. What is it, a button? A small rock that's slightly from a foreign planet, about the size of a baseball. Well, what's it doing in here? Okay. You reach in the opening and take up the carbon rock. I found a rock, y'all. This is great. Oh wow. The door is locked. Just keep hey, Jarrell? here. Hi Jarrell. Yo Jarrell. How you doing, man? Uh keep... Shelly wants to know, didn't you play this before or something that looks exactly like this? I've played deja vu. That's the thing. This game is inspired by those games. That's what it is. But this I've never played before. Wow. The column system is broken. If activated, it will simply emit a continuous sound. You should be able to control the frequency of the sound by using the controls on the side. Okay. Alright, what if I use... Oh! Whew. That was high. That's all I can do is emit sounds. I think that might come in handy for something. I don't know. Let me let me save my progress. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, this game is awesome. The door is locked. Okay. What about? Do I need this here? Oh, I don't know the code. Okay. Okay, so that's something we gotta look for. Ooh, what's that? This hatch is manually operated and doesn't require power to open. Okay. Whoa! Oh shit, that's a lot of eyeballs. Um. There is a creature made entirely of the slime. That green shit! Oh my god, the green shit's turned to something. Press so Shelly says, so the games use the same engine then? I guess so. Perhaps a former crew member it has a taste for blood. Oh. Um, you know. I. Th oh, what do I do? I think I should back the fuck up. No, no, no. Back the fuck up. Wait, I have a rock. Can I throw stuff at? Can I throw stuff at it? This is the power control box. The front panel is closed but not locked. Oh wait, what about this? This is the exterior door control. It's too far for you to reach without the creature noticing you. However, the button is big enough that you could throw something at it. <gasps> oh yeah, the rock. Right? A form a base. Yeah. All right, use rock on this. Uh oh, the creature sees you as a meal and instantly leaps towards you. You make a delicious snack for the creature. Uh oh, I died. Oh, oh your adventure has unfortunately ended here. Oh my god, I've been sucked to the bone. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, man. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, continue. Um, Jarrell says if you could call this an engine. 
I don't know what it's using, but it is quite nice. I know it's recent, so it's got to be something more up to up to date. Uh, maybe. All right. What if instead I just move to the left real quick? Oops. No. Oh, I died again. Okay, so you are like focused on me. Okay, so no matter what I do, it's gonna stay focused. Oh, this way, this way. I don't think the carbon rock would work on that plant thingy. Maybe there's something I'm forgetting. There's something I'm missing. Ooh, what's this? A blood pack seemingly left behind from a previous procedure contains human blood. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can take the blood pack. Is there anything else I can take? Does anything open? No, what about this thing? You definitely can't open that. Okay, all right, I'm well, fine. Okay, okay. It says you have a taste for blood, so what if I use this on you? Yes, that worked! You toss the blood pack at the creature, it begins to devour the blood inside. It is very focused on the blood pack for the moment. Okay, save. I'm saving this. Alright, now use. I think I can do it now, so we can get rid of this thing. Oops. Oopsie. When the door opened, you were sucked out of the ship and sent flying into deep space. Yeah, probably should not have done that. Okay, so we don't open this door, so leave that shit alone. I think I can go this way now? I can, it's letting me, okay. Um, Jarrell says unity, gotta be unity. Might be, yeah. A grate covers the lower level access, it's not fastened in place. Can we open it? Oh hey, we can open it! Okay, moving down. Oh, what's this? A roll of duct tape, extremely versatile, is useful for creating makeshift tools and weapons. You goddamn right. Duct tape! If it's one thing I've learned about Mythbusters, duct tape is your best friend. Yeah. This is where something can be added to the nutrient injector. It is currently closed. Well, what can I put in it? Does the rock go in? Nothing happened. Okay. This button activates the nutrient injector. Anything placed in this device will be mixed into the water supply. Okay. Oh, there's nothing in it, so it's not going to mix. Main water supply for the ship. It feeds into the hydrophonic system. Hydrophonic systems? Is that where the, the thing is being the thing? Okay. Oh! Oh! The mutated plant has entered the ventilation system. So this is where it all starts. This is some Resident Evil 3 shit. Or 1? Which plant had the thing? Was it 1? I think it was 1. God, 1 creeped me the fuck out. This personal barrack box contains the belongings of a crew member. It is unlocked. I'm opening it. Examine. Family photos, dog tags, notepad, uniform, recorder. Okay, examine the family photo. A faded photo of a family. The set of dog tags reads Staff Sergeant D. Marsh, Staff Sergeant K. Rolofos, Corporal H. Masuno. They're all in here? Uh-oh. 
A note. Gotta burn corpses. If only we had a frame floor to try to make one. Oh dear. Uniform bearing the insignia of the Federation ICOM Syntec Division. It has many closed pockets. A sound recorder that can record and play back sounds. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think we should take the recorder. I don't know if we should take all this other stuff. I'm taking the notepad. I don't know about all this other stuff. I think I'll just leave that where it is for now. Brittany says, no, it was Red Green Show that always told you duct tape was your best friend. The, yeah, but it's, I learned that they also did a thing on that, a Mythbusters special on duct tape. And it's a whole special where they create all kinds of shit using duct tape. So that's how I learned that. I don't know about the Red Green Show because sadly we only got some episodes here in the States. But hey, you know, if we're, if we're both thinking it, if we both understand this, it's all good. This is the plant wiring system switch used to activate the sprinklers. Interesting, very interesting. You can see into the shuttle bay through this window. A single shuttle is docked there. Okay. Oh, there's more shit. A small bottle labeled Chem A. That's not much to go on. And a test tube that is used to collect samples for scientific study. A bottle labeled Chem B. I'm sure there must be some way to tell what it is. Test tube with a sample of an unknown organic compound. Another one unknown organic compound. Bottle labeled Chem C. Very descriptive. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these. I mean, there's no other reason they wouldn't leave them here. What about this? Examine. These cages hold some creatures that were found on recent visits to some uncharted planets. I don't think it would be a good idea to open those cages. Oh, oh, uh... She's gonna be right back. She's doing updates and such to see what's going on with her laptop. Okay. Ships. This is a portable cryptographic interface device used to download and upload data from the ship's computers. Mmm. Spiffy. Okay. Um. What do you want to use this on? What about this? You need to add the sample to a slide to examine it in the microscope. Well, where am I going to find a slide? I know that's a code. 618. Could that be to this? I'll find out in just a moment. This is a storage unit for microscopic slides. You can open it to check and see if any slides are left. Okay. Yeah, there are. Oh, this is fantastic. This is just... Okay, okay. Use test tube on slide. Okay, all right. Now... We want to use the sample on this. You take a look at the compound in the microscope. You quickly realize that what you are looking at is what is served in the mess. Gross. Ew. Ew. Well, that can't be ew. Alright, that says 618. So let me see if I can try it on this door. Is there a little keypad? Can I open it? Oh, it just opens. I'm saving. Okay. Uh, we move this way. Ooh. This is the control console for the teleporter. Its destination co coordinates are currently blank. I just want to experiment, but it's possible to. The teleporter had no destination coordinates, so you were teleported into deep space. Wow. Now, see, that's pretty cool that they cover those bases there. I 
I like that. What about opening a cage? Whoa, shit! You open the cages and the hungry mutant animals inside leap at the chance at an easy meal. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh my god, I got fucking goosebumps. Oh, shit, that freaked me out there. Wow! Okay. Okay, let's not touch other stuff here. Let's just get the fuck out. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's open the door to the docking bay. Hey, look at that. A rear panel is covering the fuel cell access. Okay. Can I open this door? Yes, I can. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Oh! You remember this Jones. pilot? Yeah? No, what is it? Ooh, you remember this pilot being injured before you were put in the stasis? His body has been corrupted by whatever has infected the ship. Oh, poor son of a bitch. Oh, he's covered in green shit. What is this? What if I can take a sample? Maybe that's what that is. I'm gonna use this on this. Ooh! The corpse of the pilot gets up and attacks you. With inhuman strength, he rips you apart limb from limb. Oh my god! My hands- his hands all fucked up! It, it, ew! Oh my god! This is a well-made game! Shell currently has no power source, so will be unable to take off and will recover the access to fuel cell. Okay. Okay, so this son of a bitch is alive. Oh, what's that? 1500 megahertz for a crystal. Oh! The communication system is putting out signals. I'm piecing it together. We need the recorder. And we use it to record the signal from the comms. And it vibrates what looks like a crystal. That's what I'm guessing. Can I take stuff from here? Nope. 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 I can't touch anything in this room. So, fuck. He did say flamethrower. To take, to take out the bodies. Um, damn it. Sir, get your shit together. Okay. You seem to be doing fine right where you are, sir. I will not bother you. Oh, what about what about this? Uh, the code was uh, 618. Got it. Okay. Oh my god. This is monumentally awesome. Oh. Exam. Nothing enough to see here. What about that slime and shit? There's a strange slimy substance dripping from the pipe. It seems that the slime is sleeping in every part of the ship. You know what? I'm gonna use... And put it into... No! Come on! It's a thing- Oh, we gotta put it in a test tube, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Test tube. What you're expecting has- Oh, right! Empty tube! Empty tube! Use empty tube. On this. Got it. You carefully scoop up a sample of the slime into the test tube. Okay. Tube slime. Okay, good. We got a sample. Alright, we're making the progress, y'all. I have the music. The key card scanner is labeled Alpha Access Only. So that's protected. What about this? That door opens. Let's move. Oh! Oh! That's a gun! A single-use emergency flare gun. Smile works even in the absence of oxygen. 
A small blowtorch used for repairs. It creates a small but steady flame and a good old sturdy steel crowbar that can withstand a lot of force. Well, well, well. Flare gun and blowtorch. And the crowbar. I think I know what we need to do here. I got the duct tape. I got a flare gun and a blowtorch. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, calm down. There's the duct tape. So we want to use the duct tape. No, wait. Oh, you right clicked the thing. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we want to use the flare gun and the blowtorch. That didn't work. Why not? Alright, use the blowtorch and the flare gun? Come on, cheeky baby. Alright, hold on. What about the flare gun? Okay, um, the duct tape. Use duct tape on the flare gun. You should apply the tape to whatever you plan on attaching the torch to. Okay, so it's duct tape. To the flare gun? It won't let me do it. Oh, shit. I guess there's something I'm missing. But we do have some materials to make a blowtorch. Or a flamethrower, whatever, yeah. Examine this. You don't see anything special here, okay. What about through here? Examine this. A portable tank of compressed gas. Not unlike ones used to fuel flame floors. Well, look at there. Oh, yes. Okay. Duct tape. No, I don't want to take it. Use the duct tape. Right? On the gas tank? You attach some duct tape to the portable tank of compressed gas. Okay, okay, tank with tape. Now, now. We use the tank with tape on the blowtorch. Yeah! You attach the gas tank to the blowtorch to create a makeshift flamethrower. Motherfucker. Oh, nice. Oh my god, we're making some progress here. The keycard scanner is labeled beta access only. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh wait, 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 there's something over there. The plant thingy. The vent covering is being held in place with mutant plant vines. It can't be moved. Oh dear. Okay, so we can't do anything here. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta go back. Uh, what was it on the thing? 1500. Uh, use. 500. 1,000. There it is. That's it. So, so, where's the recorder? Use recorder. On this, right? Ah! You recorded a 15, a frequency of 1500 hertz. It's, it, this is fantastic. It's just, it's just, it's a thing, and I like it. This is good, man. <laughs> I'm genuinely enjoying myself. Hello, Slime Sir. Good morrow to you. Well, that's supposed to be uh, the objective, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, now next we go into here. Right? Then we go into here. And then there's you. Use flamethrower on this bitch. Oh! Yeah! Roasted that shit! Oh, hello? Annie, you still with us? Yeah, where would I go? Alright, I heard the thing drop off. I think Poopy left. Oh, the ignition okay. key for the last shuttle on the station. Required for takeoff. Oh, it's the shuttle key! Okay, take. With the zombie pilot's body burned away, you take the shuttle ignition key. 
cool. A bottle label Kim C. A bottle label Kim B. A bottle of lubricant is sometimes used to repair some of the drones on the ship. They're drones? An oil filter, like the ones used for some of the ship's older machinery. Okay, so I'm gonna take some shit. I'm gonna take this. No, take it. I can't take. Yeah, there it is. Kim B. Kim C. Lubricant. Oil filter. Of course, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has drawn an image of a crystal along with the note 1500 hertz. You also notice that the board is loosely fastened to the wall. You wouldn't be able to move it with your bare hands, but something. But maybe something could pry it loose. Hmm. Do I have something that can be used to pry things open? Hmm. If, if I remember hmm. my my half-life, uh, I think, yes, a crowbar. Yeah! A key card with access beta on it. Oh, okay, we need that. Take, take. Oh my god, progress, baby. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can we go to the shuttle? Can I move to the shuttle? I can go there. Okay, here it is. Uh, I want to put the thing in here. Ooh, red button. This is the main engine activation button. Press it when you are ready to take off. Well... Can I press it now? No? Oh, the ship engines have no fuel. The shuttle will not fly. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> right, we want to go to the lab now. And over here. So we can use the slime thing. Um... Tube slime. So, use tube slime on micro. You place a small amount of the slime under the microscope slide. And now we use the slime slide on this. You analyze the slime sample within the microscope. You can identify a few traits in the cellular makeup. You conclude that a specific mixture will disrupt the cells. A mixture, oh! A mixture of two parts Chem A, one part Chem C, and two parts Chem, no, two, wait, hold on, I'm reading that wrong. Two parts of Chem A, one part Chem B, two parts Chem C, all mixed into the water should do the trick. So we gotta go down. Okay, so 2A, 1B, 2C. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, and we put it in this thing, right? So is it, is it... I wanna use it in here. Okay, and then nice. And then I want to use one B. Okay, and then use Chem C in here, and then Chemical C in there. The chemicals have all been mixed. The mixture is ready. All you must now you must activate the machine. Okay. Ooh, there it is. The cams have been added to the water supply. The water is now very deadly. It looks deadly. Ooh. It's purple. I don't want that purple stuff. Okay, okay, now, what was, was this? This is the plant wiring system switch used to activate the sprinklers. Ooh, here it goes. It's working! It worked! The chemical mixture in the water supply acts as a poison and quickly destroys the plants. Fuck yeah! Aw, oh, this is sweet. Okay, um, now we can go back to that, that vent. Excuse me, slime creature. Oh, no, 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 not this way, not this way. Actually, this way, yeah. Uh, we need the key card, so use... Key card B on this. Nothing happened. 
let me examine it. I think I'm missing something. Alpha. Okay, so I'm in the wrong spot. It's this door over here. Yeah, yeah. Key card B on this. You hold the key card to the scanner, it beeps and the door is now unlocked. This is a fun little game. Whoa, what's this? This is the storage area for the exterior exploration suits. They are stored behind energy force fields. Ooh! The force field control panel has been destroyed. You'll have to find another way to access the suit storage. Fuck. Nice suits, though. Oh, so, um... Brittany says it's going to take a while for her update, so she's on her PS4. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could watch this on the PS4. That's fantastic, really. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the plant's dead. Oh, shortcut. Okay, so what do we do? Wait, did this just take me... I gotta turn off the power. But how how do I do the head? Wait, wait, the uh... Oh, I don't wanna do that. Can I open this panel now? Yes I can. The power control box is open and the switch can be used. Okay. Oh, don't jump on me, Mr. Alien thingy. Oh, power's off. Oh, Toyota. Oh, fuck. The doors are closed. Uh-oh. Does that mean that the door to the other thing is closed, too? Oh, tits. Oh, wait, wait. That's what the vent's for. Fuck. The doors automatically close. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want to do. The way is blocked. Oh, holy fuck. I don't know. To the, to the thingy. And then I want to back my ass up. It's all closed. Fuck. Oh, hold on. Idea. I have an idea. I gotta keep the door open. And yeah, the doors are open. Okay. I got your idea here. Um, um. Do I still? Yeah. You used the sturdy crowbar to jam the door open. Now when the power is shut off, the door will stay open. Genius! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, this is awesome. So now, we turn the power off. Oh, I gotta move. Even though the interface is similar and you only need the mouse instead of a controller, I still keep fucking it up. <laughs> it worked! It's open! Okay, okay. Oh, that looks so creepy. Alright, uh... Take. I can't take it? There. We take the exterior exploration suit and the paramagnetic boots. Okay. I'm not gonna examine those others. I feel like there's a trap over there. And I've learned best to leave shit alone. Oh my god, this is so cool. Uh use doink. Okay, power's back on. Now I have the suit and the boots. 
Does this mean I go outside? Hold on. Use on myself. You put on the magnetic boots, they will activate automatically when needed. And you use the spacesuit on myself. You put on the exterior exploration suit. You can now safely travel outside. Ah, oh, yeah. So, 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 hold on. Hold on. Does it mean I can use the carbon rock on this now? The exterior door opens and the creature is immediately sucked into the void. Fortunately, your mag boots activate and keep them flying out in space. Yes! Yes! Okay, so... Oh, this is fantastic. So I guess we move outside. Uh-oh. I don't look good. An alien creature is circling the hull of the ship. It notices you and stops moving. Uh-oh. Um... I don't have anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The gun, the gun. Can I use the flare gun on this? Yeah. You fire the flare in the space. The creature breaks eye contact and follows it. The path is clear for now. What a putz. Okay, moving this way. What is this shit? It's a dish. This is the ship's main sensor array. You can obtain data about any nearby planet systems with this. Can't open it. Well, what the fuck? Oh, there's something in here. What is that? There is a crypto port at the base of the sensor array. Is there anything to take from it? I thought something you can take with you. Oh crap! Well, what do I do now? Oh, I really hope that creature doesn't come back. Um. Right, and we don't want to step into the teleporter when the coordinates are blank. We're sure as fuck not opening these goddamn cages. You sit down. Oh! Do I take this? I can take it. Uh. Oh, the door's closed. Uh, use the... Um... Oh wait, can I just open this? Yeah, I can do that now. Okay, the thing's not here. Cool. Can I use... Because it's talking about ports and shit, so can I use it on here? You plug the cryptographic device... Interface device and download the nearby planet coordinates into the device. Cool! We can go to the teleporter now! Uh, we want to go here. And then... And then Oh, this is so great. This is fantastic. And then, and then, and then... Right? You put this in the, this thing? You plug the cryptographic device into the console. The flat coordinates are uploaded into the computer. The teleport is now safe to use. Okay. Save this shit. Beam us down, Mr. Scotty. This is where your away team was. Whoa. When the illness struck, holy shit. It looks like a fissure of someone's ass. And it's polyps. It's all coming back to you now. You were sent here to observe and engage a possible alien threat. You remember that you were entrusted with the ship's orbital newt code. It was meant to be used as a signal to signal an orbital attack from 5A in the event of an overwhelming attack from alien life forms. You hesitate at the possibility that you may need such firepower after all. Only not on this very planet it was intended for. You take a deep breath and decide to explore the planet. Oh, dude. Wait, can I... Can I use shit? Because I see that same port thingy. Oh, shit. You load the self-destruct code onto the cryptographic interface device. Oh, this is heavy, man. Shelly says flare gun. There you go. Yeah. What the fuck? 
What is this? Oh man. There's a fairly large opening here with some slime leaking out. You can't see where it leads. Nothing here. Nothing enough to see here. There's a small hole here just big enough to fit your arm into. Ooh. Oh god, which one do we want? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand in this hole. Oh! You take a deep breath and reach into the hole. You feel a handle inside and you pull it. Okay. Whoa! Hey, it's a slime shit! There is an abundance of the slime in this cavern. It's definitely the substance that has infected the ship. Oh, shit. And this way is totally blocked. It was a pool of the slime between you and the rest of the cave. The bubbling mass is quite deadly. Oof. So it's like sick ass. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We definitely can't open that. Well, what about yous? Ah, you grab the handle and pull upwards. You're feeling a control panel. The pump loudly chugs to life and begins pumping the slime out of the cavern. This game is simple but fun. Hey, the path is clear. Crystal shit! Crystals like this one are what brought your crew to this planet. The crystal can power ship engines. You won't need the whole thing. You should find a way to break a small piece off. Right, right, the recording! Holy shit, that worked! You play back the sound and it resonates with a crystal with the crystal and shatters it. Hey yeah. What okay, what about this part? Oh I'm trying I need to take a piece, right? Oh there it is. You gather the, and take the crystal shards. Is that it? Is that all there is in this place? If there is, I'm getting the fuck out. This place is creepy as balls. Like a fool, I have to. I'm gonna try and see if I can move into here. Oh! You have disturbed the creature that calls this place home. It cannot be reasoned with and quickly devours you. Fuck a doodle do! That's disgusting! Oh! Ew! Holy fucking shit! So let's not touch stuff. Let's just get back onto the ship. Oh my god. Holy fucking a fuck. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what do I go now? What do I do? I am totally gone. I scared the shit. <laughs> oh my god. Doesn't take much. This is true. This is totally true. You know what? I'm gonna take all this stuff. Because there's a key card missing, and maybe. What if I open the uniform? Fuck! The key card was in there! Okay. Take the key card. You take key card alpha. I like this. Okay, where do I need to go? I'm going. Am I going the right way? I need to go where the suit is. Right, uh, use key card A. What do you want to use this on? They happen. No, no, no. Hold on. Oh, this. You hold the key card to the scanner and wait for the beep. The door is now unlocked. Whoa! Fancy as fuck. This button controls the consoles on this side of the room. And this button controls the consoles on this side of the room. Let's start pushing buttons. Ship's log. Ship's, ship 5A log 2501. Ship status report. Life forms confirmed throughout all decks. Uh oh. 
Recent biological scans based on oxygen intake indicate one p human life forms on board. Uh-oh. 5A biology lab readings indicate corrupted fauna present. 5A biology lab readings indicate corrupted flora present. Overall ship corruption level, very high. You begin to reluctantly make plans. It appears I have to remove the threat for good, but with an infection at this scale, I can't afford to have it come into contact with the Federation. I have to destroy the ship. Okay. Well, Hello, Anna Central. Hey, Ness. Sorry, I had to interrupt you a minute. Oh, you're cool. Ship's 5A log 1701. The planet, designation Purple Behemoth. Behemoth. I fucking love this guy. I don't know. Oh my god, this is a dude. Oh. It's home to crystalline mines. The crystals there contain bonded di diatomic lithium sufficient enough for the Federation class ship's energy cores. A forward observation post has been set up at the at one of the confirmed sites of the crystalline mine to observe any possible threats. Caution, coordinates not found in main computer, link to satellite has been lost. You observe all this information and come to the realization that help is not coming. Maybe I can salvage something from the satellite you think to yourself is clean to the little optimism you have left. Yeah, we did that already. So, I gotta put the crystal in the ship. Yeah, and then we gotta go here. And then we gotta move this way. And we gotta go to the bay. And then I gotta open. Right? And as I said, to put uh, all the crystal in here. You wedge the piece of crystal into the fuel cell access port. You make sure it's good and tight. Okay. I wonder if the game will allow me to leave. I gotta check and see. Before you leave, you must make sure that there's no chance of any of the infection making it off the ship. Saying the self-destruct sequence is the only way. Okay, cool. It won't let me leave. I like this. It tied up all the loose ends and stuff. Okay. So... Where's the self-destruct, though? There's a panel here that can be moved. It must be hidden for security purposes. Oh... Oh, that slides right down. Oh, I think, okay. What do we want to use this on? Oh, shit. You plug in the cryptographic device and set the ship's self-destruct sequence. The system alerts you that self-destruct is imminent. Okay, okay, we gotta go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's like running away from, from stuff. Um, um, okay. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, here, just to the bay. And the, sh the shuttle thingy. And, and right? Oh! That's it! I did it! Oh, the ship blew up. We did it! You've managed to escape just in time. You set a course for the nearest Federation system. As the infested ship is destroyed behind you, you find comfort in knowing that the alien threat is no more. You are a true hero. It's a shame that you were the sole survivor. But without your efforts, the infection would surely have spread to any ships that would have inevitably come into contact with the doomed 5A. Design story art Jeff Canham. Programming is by War Warm Hat. Music and sound is by Ori Falconer. This is the end of your story. Thanks for playing. Oh! That's it! We finished the game! Wow! That was... jeez! Well, shit! Let's yeah. put that in the record books, folks. You, uh, gotta come up with something else now. <laughs> yeah. Alright, hang on a minute. What's the date? Let's see, it's, uh... 2... 2017. Infested. And the time is... 2... 10... A.M. Wow, how many times did I die in this thing? I'm gonna 
I'm gonna say maybe eight or nine. I'll go with nine, I'm guessing. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So is TMR now officially a three hour stream? Uh, no, it's it's not. I went a little over. I just wanted to finish the game up and stuff. And exit. Well, yeah, okay. Um, Unessential says, then you find out the game has multiple endings, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks. Okay, so... Uh, we reached into the right, because we're going to go back into the uh, regular routine like before, because the three-hour thing was... It was killing me. I've had some hard time sleeping, so yeah, that's why I keep it to two hours so I can get some sleeps and stuff. Um, the announcement that I want to make, now that we've reached the end, is that um, the Midnight Ride is going on hiatus. It's not a joke. It actually is going on temporary hiatus for a little bit. I need to catch up on uh, some projects that I put on hold for Operation Ena 6, and there's some stuff that I want to do with the stream. I have some ideas that I want to get panned out and stuff. So I have to take care of that. Plus, most importantly, I want to spend a little bit more time with my lady. I feel like, you know, we just we just come on and I do my stuff and we hang out a little bit, but I want to I want to hang out and spend some more time with her. So, I feel that is important. That's that's crucial and necessary. Uh, so that's that's the announcement thing. I'll let you know when I'm coming back on and you know, we'll all get together and stuff. Uh, I will tell you that the good news is that during this hiatus there will be a whole bunch of stuff that will be put into the stream, which I can actually do, and it uh, will allow me to focus on doing that. Me and Annie are going to work on, on collaborating and getting that stuff together. And I think you guys are going to like it when it's all said and done. So that's it for the announcement. But for right now, the lovely stream, that is the Midnight Ride, has come to an end. A big shout out and thanks to everyone for stopping by and hanging out with us. Uh, Brittany, Joey of the Wood, uh, Sheliak, Faye Gwent, Jarrell88, Unessential. Always a pleasure to see you, man. Always a pleasure to see you. And of course, uh, oh, and Dez. We can't forget Dez. And of course, my lovely girlfriend and co-host, Nina X Mom, aka Annie. I love you so much, babe. I love you too. So my announcement will be, okay, so since he won't be doing the midnight ride at midnight, I will have my own broadcast at midnight. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would defeat the purpose. Yeah. Um, but who knows? You never know. I mean, I might pop up at midnight. You never know. Um, of course, I'm not as good as him, but... Uh, another thing too is this will give us some time if you guys haven't gone you know this is the thing knockers you gotta keep it short because they might find somebody else and then it will, it's hard for them to come back to the midnight ride if they found somebody else you know what I mean oh yeah absolutely it won't be too it's long it's a delicate line it's a delicate line yeah it's a delicate thing don't worry Probably folks free for you know multiplayer nights uh, oh absolutely yeah we'll definitely have that Mm -hmm. And we and, won't uh, have to wait till midnight either, so... You know. Yeah, that's right. So, date night's totally on for tonight, folks. This this coming evening that's coming I know, poor Unessential's like, already, I just got here. I know, Ness. I know, dude. Don't worry. We will return very soon. The hiatus will not last long, I promise. Uh, you can catch this and past episodes of The Midnight Ride on the Twitch VOD and on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pbmchan. For the Midnight Ride, I was your host, God of Knockers. The co-host is Nina X Mom. Have a great weekend, everybody. Much love to all of you. Take care, and thanks for everything. Good night. Good night.